Hello, David Fabricius here, Technical Product Manager with the Windows Server Solutions Group. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the Microsoft IT Health Scanner tool. So here we can see the announcement of the tool on the EBS Team blog, where you can find a lot of great information like uh, the Health Scanner release, uh, as well as answers to technical questions and issues that come up. So I highly encourage you to check out the blog. Inside the blog post, you will also find a link to download the tool. If you've been at a recent Microsoft event, you may have actually been handed a CD with some other resources as well as the tool. And uh, so today I'd like to just kind of demo this to you. So I'm going to switch over to a Windows XP client running in an old Windows Server 2000 domain. And just doing this to really show that you can use this tool in an older environment to help you identify issues and basically just scan the whole environment for uh, any underlying issues that might cause problems when you're trying to do an upgrade or a migration, uh, whether you're going to Windows Essential Business Server or Windows Small Business Server or pretty much anything, uh, the start of a successful migration is really having a healthy environment. So that's where the uh, Health Scanner tool really comes to the fore. We have found a lot of partners, a lot of customers getting great value out of the preparation wizards that were originally released as part of Windows Essential Business Server and this tool is a response to that overwhelming enthusiasm uh, for having this type of a tool. So this is the welcome page. Uh, it's going to give you a, a quick description of what the tool does and the things that it looks for and looks at. One thing to note is that the tool will not make any changes to your environment uh, as it's doing its scan, but once you have the report at the end it will give you some guidance and some links so that you can take the proper steps to address any of the issues that may have been identified by the tool. So as we get started here, the first thing that uh, it's going to let you do is go out and look for updates to the tool. So here in my demo environment, I'm pretty confident that I have the latest tool, so I can go ahead and skip that step. The next thing that it's going to need to know is some information about your network so that it can go ahead and find the different servers and uh, clients. So here you can see I'm using a private IP subnet which is very typical behind a firewall device. At this point you can also put in additional networks so if you have a relatively complex network environment you can tell the tool um, about the, the network that you have so it can find all the different pieces. Uh, my network in the demo environment is very simple so I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. And now we're ready to go ahead and start the scan. So again, as I mentioned, uh, that no changes will be made, but uh, you do need to enable WMI queries on the, on the targets that you're wanting to find out about. So some documentation on that last screen that talks about that and where you can find some information about uh, making any configuration changes that might be necessary to allow that to happen. And of course, those could be temporary. You can change them back uh, as necessary after the scan completes. So this does take a couple of minutes. We'll use a little video magic to go ahead and let this continue. All right, so once the scan has completed, then you can go ahead and view the health scan results. Now, I've created an environment where a few things have gone wrong so that you can see uh, the kinds of things that the tool will identify for you. And you can scroll through inside the tool itself to see uh, the different warnings, the different errors. You can see that there is um, links to appropriate uh, knowledge base articles to give you some guidance on how to correct any errors that might be found. Um, so taking a lot of the guesswork out of not only finding errors, but then figuring out what to do about them. So the EBS team has put a lot of effort into really helping you find the information that you need as well as finding the problems that may be lurking in your environment. You can also view the results as a web page. So this gives you a nice report that you can save, print out, use as a checklist as you go through and uh, take care of the different errors that are found as well as to be able to review the areas that it did look for and either not find any problems or um, or weren't applicable in your environment. As you can see, I had a few areas in mind. Uh, and then as you complete the pass of making your environment healthier, you can run the scan tool again and know that uh, you have addressed all of the problems. 
And really, that's a quick overview of the Health Scanner tool. I really hope that you find this to be valuable in your own environments, whether you're preparing to migrate to the latest technologies from Microsoft or just trying to make sure that your environment is as healthy as it needs to be. Thanks a lot for watching.